Hey everybody, this is Ray the Video Guy, and today I want to show you a piece of software that's really got me excited, and it's called Instant Social Presence Tube Edition. And what it basically does is it creates the YouTube backgrounds that you see behind your YouTube channel here. Uh, this one here, for instance, was actually made before the YouTube changes, which is why you can kind of see that it's, uh, it doesn't quite fit in there. It's actually one of the old versions. So what we're going to do is I wanted to show you how easy this is to create some backgrounds for your YouTube channel. So we're going to launch the editor here. Okay, so here we are in the editor. And you'll see it's actually a very simple layout here. You can see this section here is just a template uh, kind of showing where the YouTube um, player sits so that you know that you can only work in the areas outside of that, which is great because that's one of the toughest things to do in Photoshop is to make sure that you're getting it on the exact spot that you need to. So you can ignore this whole middle area because you're only going to be designing for the side, this little strip on the top, and the side here. But the great thing about this is you don't need Photoshop or anything else to do this. You can just create it right here inside the program. So let's take a look at this. They've already got a template here and it's got your company name, it's also got your logo, and it's got some information here. So what we're going to do is we're going to show you how easy it is to uh, change that. And the first thing I want to do is we're going to go to template here. And you can see inside here they have a whole bunch of different templates that you can choose from. Uh, car rental, dentist, doctor, gym, hotel, lawyer, pizza, real estate, restaurant, bar, barber, beauty salon, car wash, flower, and taxi. And these are great. But of course, you know, no matter what you choose here, you can always change this to, to fit your particular business. Even if you choose you know, the dentist, um, you can just go in and, and create your, your own stuff based off of that. So let's find a template to kind of play with here. Let's look at the, uh, oh, let's look at the pizza one. I'm sure that's kind of cool there. You know, I kind of like this pizza one there. That's kind of neat. Um, let's actually start working with that a little bit. And you can see here we've got uh, a background, we've got some text here, some information, and we've got our social media over here on this side. So this is how easy it is to start to work on this here. If we double click on this here, we can actually change this to whatever we'd like. So let's, uh, my town here is, uh, is Morgan, so we're going to change this to Morgan Pizza. And we're going to go back. And let's see here, we're going to change this phone number. So this is how easy it is to change all the different things on here, and that's actually my phone number. Change this to uh, morganpizza.com. There's no such place, but after we make this, maybe they'll want to open up a restaurant. Fast delivery, we've got pizza here. You can see we can actually go in and we can resize this if we wanted. We can make it bigger or smaller. Uh, we can even uh, rotate it a little bit because we want the pizza to be kind of facing this direction. There we go. Looks good. All right. Now, the other thing that's kind of cool about this is you can see here we've already got some social media over here. So you can say like us on Facebook. But one of the cool things is if you actually uh, go over to, let's see, I believe it's FX here, and we go to social media style, you can actually choose different styles for the social media. As you can see here, you can make them small. All these different styles that you can choose from there. Uh, personally, I kind of, I kind of like this small one there. And then what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to just move this up. Actually, you know what? I changed my mind. We're going to move it down. Bring it over here. So we're just going to put these all together. you're going to want to line those up a little bit better because I'm not too good at keeping it lined up there. But as you can see, it's pretty easy to do. We could change this. Maybe we want this to be a lot bigger. Ooh, yeah, we'll make that big pizza. And, uh, you know, we can we can do any of this kind of stuff here. We can, you know, we can spin this. We can do uh, whatever we would like with all of this. Make it smaller. Let's spin it back a little bit here back. Oh, our fast delivery is now a little off there, but that's alright. But you can see it's very simple to, to create all the different things that you want to do in here. Now let's say that we want to add something here. We can add text, image, and social media. 
So we click social media, you can add it, you know, one of these into, into that. We've obviously already got them in here, so that's not. Okay, so now we can also move our text around a little bit if we wanted to. Maybe we want to move it over here and move the Morgan up this way. Maybe move our, our spun pizza over to here and our fast delivery. Maybe we want to offset that a little bit like that and make it look like it's going fast. So there's all these great things that you can do. Uh, you can also do things like, let's say we want to add a little more text here. We're going to put a horizontal text. And we're going to put the phone number again, 801-821-0802. Uh, and we'll uh, morganpizza.com. Because we want to take this and we want to put it up here. And of course, we want to go to fonts here and we'll go to size. And we're at 29, so we want to shrink that up so it fits into there, but it's still readable. Okay, let's so we'll drop that in there. So there's just a, you know, a myriad of things that you can do here to, to spice up your YouTube channels. And you can see that took us only just a minute here to create this nice uh, Morgan Pizza one. And obviously you can do this with just about anything you want to do. The sky's the limits here. Um, you can adjust your Facebook thing so you could instead of, uh, oops, put that back there. Instead of just um, moving those around, you can actually, instead of saying like us on Facebook, you could put, uh, you know, Morgan Pizza, you know, just things like that to kind of spice it up here so they know to search you for at Morgan Pizza. Um, you know, you can do that with, with any of these elements here. You can add your own elements. So one of the things you can do is you can actually add images. So if you picked an image out, you could actually bring you know, our low-carb carb diet book in there for our pizza place. But basically anything you can, you know, bring in a book or, or whatever it happens to be. Um, just trying to find something small and easy to use. Actually, instead of bringing one of those in, what I'm actually going to do is we'll go to uh, go to effects and we'll just choose an icon. This is one of the neat things is there's actually icons built into here by hitting the business icons and just cycling through. You can see all the different things that are in here. So rather than just going to find one, it comes with all of these different images that you can use, which is fantastic. See if we can find one that we like here. Oh, we're back to the beginning. So we could do. All right, where's our fork and spoon again? There we go. So you can say, oh, I want to have a fork and spoon in there, you know, so we can drop that in there. Uh, just little things like that. I mean, it, it's just a very, very easy. Uh, template builder to use and of course if you want to delete anything oh we changed our minds we don't like that anymore we'll get rid of that and of course you know once you're done with this all you have to do is simply hit download and there we have it we now have it in our preview here and all you have to do is then upload it to YouTube so if you're looking for a great way to create YouTube channels for your uh, business or for your products or, and, and you don't really have the skills to use Photoshop or you don't have Photoshop this is a really great way to very quickly make some great backgrounds for your YouTube channel and a uh, little secret they also have one for your Facebook timeline so uh, keep your eyes out for that as well because that's another fantastic product so if you're looking to create some of these images this is a great piece of software I recommend that you check it out right away click the link below this video and you'll be able to uh, take a closer look right now.